here to install a ceiling fan up here. And uh, we have a gas line here from when uh, it was used before the turn of the century when they did not have electricity. That's how they lit houses back then. So we're going to mount a ceiling fan where the, a chain light was hung. So we know there's a, a beam right in here, so we're going to slide this up here so we can shim our box down. And we'll put a screw over here. this bit out of here and I'm going to put the bit down here where I have more control of it. Ceiling fan on here. I'm going to put another one over here. Okay, the window being nice and solid. More wires down here. Good solid beam in here. down so we can screw it into this. See, now we can screw our box up.
now we're ready to put our box in here. Focus on the Lord. I'm not going to get frustrated. I'm just going to focus on the Lord. So I'm going to open these two. Open these here. Okay, I'm just going to focus on the Lord. You don't get upset over anything. Nothing at all. So we'll just move our box up here. In the wood. Just focus on the wood. Face him and focus on him. Okay, so So that's what takes you away from the world. Okay, now we'll go up and identify which wire is live with our no contact tester. So the one on the right is our live wire. Focus on the Lord and don't get frustrated when things go wrong. You should be facing when things go wrong because it's to His glory. And you don't want your will to be done, you want the Lord's will to be done. It is probably the Lord's will that whatever happened was to His glory. Okay, so this is our neutral layer. White wire on the one that says right. The one upstairs in here. The one upstairs in here. The one one. Which is on the one side. Now, this is our hot wire here. So, we're going to get all this tape off of here. This wire was probably put in shortly, very shortly after the turn of the century. So it's older wiring. So, yeah. 
Okay, get the cup even at the bottom, insulation even at the top. Push my wire nug on here. Keep on pushing it up a little bit, not so I don't want to hook some. Here we go, I don't want to get this tight. I'm going to try to get this to go up higher, so. Alright. So we're going to get our lowers, our older wire up here in the holes. There's an old rubber wire. And now we're going to get our cross piece up for the fan. And I don't know what I call it to this, but no one might be frustrated. I'm just going to focus on the Lord and drop forward with the tools I have in my hands. And if I find it, I find it. If I don't, I don't. But it's all something or something. Now, I made sure this thicker insulation is down in below the snow because there's no way I can put a mix connector on that. For not letting me find where I put the piece that was up there. It's a little exercise for me walking around and looking for it. I don't know if you can do 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 it. I have a father and I'm not going to be frustrated if I don't find it. You know what? You don't put it up. You don't need to see it. I cannot believe that. That was right in my hand about five minutes ago, and I cannot fathom that. But he put, I worship Jehovah, I praise him, I want to give him all the honor and all the glory. If I don't find it, it's his will, if I don't find it, and I will not put the sin up. That's all there is to it. That pure and that simple. It's not the will of the Heavenly Father for me to put this stand up. It's not His will. Well, I'm glad I found it. It was uh, right outside when I cleaned it up. So I thank Heavenly Father I found it. I'm not going to use it for a drop, I 
screwdrivers. Just hate them with a passion. I wish they wouldn't even make them anymore. I wish they would not even make them anymore. Just get rid of them. And I'm about ready to throw mine in the garbage. Because I hate fighting them. Over, but you know what? I'm just praising the Lord. I just praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise you, Lord. Heaven of Father. Praise you. Praise your holy name. Praise you, Lord. Lord. No words. I do without pinching anything. Bless the Lord. Praise his name. Hallelujah. I can't think of anything more else to love than Jehovah. Praise him and worship him. I might not have to go on a rat race to look at that full screwdriver. I refuse to do that. And uh, just use the flathead, amen? I'd rather fight with something and praise God for it than frustrate and curse. You just worship him and focus on the Lord. You don't get upset. You only focus on the Lord. The Lord God, Jehovah, praise his holy name. Praise his name. Praise his holy name. Bless his name. Praise his name. God's will. So now we're ready to put the fan up on here. up with uh, clips with a pin that goes through and we're going to go the pieces in here. Put this clip through the hole. I 
pray for me. Bless your holy name, O Lord. Just bless your name. Praise and worship your Lord. Worship them, O Lord. Don't frustrate over anything at all. When we worship your heavenly Father, we pray to him as we go and not the end Well, you know what? I just thank you, Lord. I praise your name. And you know what? If I cannot find that, I will just put a piece of wire in it, and I will not curse your holy name. And it looks like that's what I might have to do. I'll just put something else in it. I will not frustrate. I just refuse to. If something is gone, it's for God's glory. I did find it. Everything is to God's glory. You don't frustrate over any material things. There, it's clipped in. And now we get our wires hooked up, so we have to go down and shut the breaker off. Okay, so now we can have our wires up. So we have the white, which is our neutral. And the black, which is white. So we'll take our white wire, which is the neutral. If I don't find it yet, I'm not going to find it. I'm not going to frustrate it. So we'll get our insulation at the bottom. I'll show you the longer. I'm going to get a couple of little shorter. Okay, so I'll get the uh, strands up around the copper there. I'll grab them around like this here. And there's an even copper even at the end and insulation even at the top. I'll stick my wire nut on here. Just grab them both them nice and tight. Now since we're wiring it with the light and the fan, and we're working them off the chain, we're just going to switch. The strip goes a little longer. Let's see how the head is fairly long. And our blue wire is fairly long, so we'll just wrap them around the So I'll get the insulation even at the top. I'll wrap my strands around like that. And the blue one over for the lights. Put the strands at the bottom. And wrap them around so they're even at the top there. And all the insulation even at the bottom there. And wrap them at the top. So if I line them on here. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now we just took our two brown wires together, even though there's no brown that needs to the wire. We'll hook it up here anyway in case the other brown wire up here in the future if we ever rewire the house. Okay, so we're going to get our wires folded back into here so we can close this and not have any wires pinch. Unless I'm going to put them up here like this and get them back over this way and get them in the canopy. So I might do it that way. But there's not enough room in there to put them. I 
think I dropped a piece, a rubber piece, but I don't find it. It's to God's glory. I'm not going to frustrate. I'm going to worship him, give him praise and honor and glory. And I don't see it, so maybe I didn't grab it. Now, I'd like to get the wires back inside the uh, canopy here where it would be away from everything. But if I can't, I can't. I'm not going to get upset if I can't. I'm going to just worship the Lord and focus on Him. And I'll leave the green one out. The only focus, my only focus is on the Lord. I've got to worship Him, praise Him, give Him honor and glory. Just focus on the Lord. Okay. So there's our black. This is going to get our white folded up back in here. If it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. We'll just put it the other way the way it was. We're not going to get upset. We're not going to curse God. We're not going to worry about what doesn't go right. Let's go. Let's try it or not. Let's go. Well, it's not going to fit, so we'll just do it this way. I have an outside here. It may not be 100% cold, but you know what? That's what I can do. That's all I can do. We are going to praise God. We are going to worship Him, praise Him, give Him all the honor and all the glory. And it's together the way it's going to be. Best it can be. I would have liked to have more of the up here, but if you don't, you don't. And you can't. If you can't, you can't. You just have to praise the Lord and be thankful for what you can do and do. Okay, but I'm going to make sure they're not getting pinched anywhere up here. So I'm going to fold these up. So they're back away from the screws. Okay, so everything is back away from the screws where they're not going to get pinched. Now this can be can go back up here. See what happens when you focus on the Lord, you get things done, you do the best you can. And if it's not quite 100% of the code because of what you have, so be it. Just thank the Lord for what you can do. Don't trust me for what you can't do. Thank him for what you can do. If I can't find my screwdriver, I'm not going to rattle any slipping parts. This is a canopy. Just focus on the wall. And you worship him. Just focus on him. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Praise Jehovah for Jesus. Okay, now we can put this back up. This is just the light kit.
This could be kind of tricky now to get the wires pinched. So you just be patient to release the board. Don't get upset. Just release him. And if something pinches and short itself, it's to his will. And it's going to be his glory. Uh, maybe it's not his will for it to turn out, but it might be good. And you just praise him and take it down and thank him. Just thank him, praise him, worship him. I can't praise anything else but Jehovah. I can only worship him. I can't take anything else to worship. There's nothing else to worship than Jehovah. Now I look and make sure that my wires aren't getting pinched with the screws here. And they're away from the wire. And I'm not hitting the wires, I can see them up there. Focus on him. Focus on him. Praise him and focus on him. on Jehovah. Praise his holy name. Focus on only that name, Jehovah. And Jesus. Don't frustrate over anything. I hate the soap screwdriver, but it's what I have and it's what I'm going to use. I'll just go back over with the flathead and tighten that. Okay, we're so badly rounded off. But I think that is a problem with it because it's 
Yeah, but the end of the two barriers, so I'm going to go get the flathead and I'll just tighten them all up the flathead. If I have to go on a wrap or something for it, I'm going to have to. Thank you, Lord, for saving me from frustration of going on a wrap race. I'm going to get some speech from you. We'll have to go buy some new 632 screws to hold the uh, globes on. But because some of them are so rusty and dirty. Thank you. 
So that is how to hang a ceiling fan. We took it down and moved it to a new location. We uh, showed you how to uh, locate the live wire when you have older wiring where both wires are the same color. Here in the country I was born in, uh, 14 American wire gauge is used on a 15 amp circuit. 12 American wire gauge is used on a 20 amp circuit. Black is live, white is neutral, the bare the green is the ground. Red and blue are also live colors, however, you may find white live in a switch loop or a 220-240 volt circuit where the appliance is not required or neutral. Peace. Thanks for watching.